Welcome to the second part of Nike sales dashboard and if you haven't watched the first part I would do recommend to watch that first part first and then proceed to this one in the first part We actually build all the views from scratch and now in the second part We'll be combining all the views into a single amazing Nike sales dashboard. So without wasting any time Let's get started we are done with our five amazing visualization which is total sale across country total sales by sale method to unit sold and total sales trend retail wise total sales and lastly product wise unit sold will consolidate them into a single amazing nike sales dashboard so let's do that so to build dashboard you need to click on this dashboard icon over here now when i'm clicking on dashboard this gives an amazing different varieties of layouts so you can just click on range or fix size or automatic so when you click automatic tablet will automatically allocate your visuals into these into these uh, this blank space and then when you select fix size i'll select fix size and in custom it gives you a lot of recommendations of layouts which you can choose from so for now i'll be clicking generic desktop which is three one three six six by which is uh, which is width and seven six eight which is height so click here now what i'll do i'll start dragging my visuals one by one so i'll start with my retail wise total sales then i'll bring my total product wise unit sold now for line chart which is unit sold and total sales trend chart i need a whole horizontal space so what i'll do i'll drag unit sold and total sales trend at the bottom I'll bring my product wise unit sold sharing the space with retail wise total sales now finally I'll bring my total sales by sale method pie chart on the right I'll hide all these legends and these values for now later will later will bring all of them in our visualization and then finally I'll add my total sales across country above my pie chart I'll just rearrange them a little bit so I'm keeping it as 75 25 so 75 percent of space will be consumed by these three visuals because I want this trend chart to be a horizontal in a horizontal way so that basically we can view these values properly and give, giving this 25 percent for our map visual and my pie chart. As we are done bringing views into our dashboard let's bring filters into picture so you can add any filters from your dimensions and measures so that you can let users to filter out data based on those measures of dimensions so firstly i'll bring my product over here bring my product i'll click on all and click on ok i'll bring my region select all now my user will be able to filter out all the data based on these filters now i can click on sales method click all and finally i'll bring my retailer now you can add any filters as per your requirements you can also add these measures as filters so for example user just wants to see what is the total sale between this minimum value and this maximum value so you can put that filter as well so for example you can put total sales in your filter you can select average since we have selected average in almost every visuals click on next and then you can set values like if you want to let users to see value of total sales between just 750 and uh, let's say thousand and click on apply so you'll be able to only see the data which have total sales between these two particular values now this user can change this dynamic so you can as this add this filter as well so for four now i'm not adding this into a dashboard so i'll go into my dashboard and i'll click on this drop down and I'll click on filters to add filters onto our dashboard. So first I'll bring my product filter. Then I will bring my region. Likewise, I'll bring other two filters as well. And sales method. Now, when you're keeping this into a multi-select, this actually occupies a lot of space and it's not user friendly. So what I can do is I can click on this value. Now, considering these are a very limited values over here 
it is looking good but when the values are more than 10 or 50 60 it just occupies a whole space so instead of multi select what you can do is click on this drop down and instead of multi values you can just click on single value drop down so user can select individual filters based on requirement and if user is interested to see all the values he can just click on all now i'll do similarly for region single value now if you observe when i'm clicking on sales method or i'm clicking on online in sales method you can see only this product wise unit sold filter is getting filtered but i want this filter to be applied to all the visuals which are present in our dashboard how can i do that is simply you need to click on this drop down click on apply to worksheets so by default it is selected only this worksheet you can click on selected worksheet click on apply to worksheets click on selected worksheets and now here you can manually select which view you want to apply this filter so i'll click on select all on dashboard since i want this filter to get applied to all the sheets on my dashboard and click on ok now when you change your sale method from online to outlet you can see all my all of my dashboards are getting filtered now there is a catch now you can see i have this view total sale by sale method and when i'm clicking on single value like in store my dashboard is just getting filtered by only single value because i'm actually showing total sale by sale method so if i don't want to apply this filter to this particular view i can again click on this apply to worksheets selected worksheets and i'll disable my retailer wise total sales away uh, total sale by sale method and click on ok now this filter won't be getting applied to this particular sheet and this is how you can apply filter and bring filters into your dashboard now considering we are done with defining our filters now let's bring all our filters on top so for that i'll bring my horizontal container on top of all my sheets and then i'll drag my filters one by one into this horizontal container so that's my second filter that's my third filter and that's my fourth filter over here now in this container i'll select an option distribute contents evenly so what it what this option does is whatever contents you have in this container will be distributed in even spaces now i'll drag this container a slightly upside so that my views will be seen properly so we are done with the technical part of this dashboard and now we are remaining with the most important part which will define the looks of our dashboard is cosmetics so i'll start by importing an image of nike in our dashboard i'll click on floating and i will drag an image over here so when the view isn't floating you can edit the dimensions and height and width dynamically as for your convenience i'll click on center image and fit image and click on ok and i'll drag this image in center of this pie chart so i'll just reduce this reduce the dimensions a little bit And I'll drag this logo in center of my pie chart. Now, as we are done by adding a logo into center of my pie chart, I'll proceed by adding some paddings onto our sheets. So I'll replace my padding four to ten, around ten, and also we'll add a border around our sheets. So you can click on this border and click on this section. Now you can see border has been apply it over sheet and this is how your dashboard would look like in presentation view now instead of keeping our border as black i'll replace the color to the shade of nike which we have over here you can click on more colors and you can click on pick screen color to actually pick the color of the brand you're working for click on ok so you can see my border has been replaced with an orange color so you can see i have reflected the padding and the border changes for all the views we have now what i observed is for total units sold and unit total sales trend chart the labels are getting crumbled so how can we reduce that so for that you can click on this particular sheet click on this particular trend line chart which is unit sold click on labels 
and in alignment you can put these labels on top on bottom so for this example for unit sold i'll put my labels on bottom so you can see all my labels have come towards bottom and now let's see how our charts look like so we have reduced the clutterness of our labels by some percentage and it looks better now the next change i'll bring my title so for title you can go on this dashboard section you can click on show title and our dashboard title has been enabled you can click on centered and also you can type like nike sales dashboard now this is like a simple title now i have a better idea than this so instead of putting it as a text what i can do i have a customized image which i have created by my own and i'll reflect that image over here and put a separate floating text over it so that it looks way more presentable than this simple text format so i'll just cancel this and i will bring an image from tile section i'll click on tiled instead of floating i'll drag my image on the top and now it gives an option to select my image so this is the image which i have created by my own this is a custom image i can share that in on github if you want so i'll click on this image i'll click on ok so you can see my image has been enabled now let's quickly reduce the height of, of, of this container so i'll bring this container height slightly above and now you can add a separate text floating section over here as a title so i'll bring click on floating i'll click on text and drag the text on my dashboard i'll type nike sales dashboard i'll increase the height by selecting the text clicking on my font size and let's make it as 14 and instead of tab label, I'll keep the font same, which I which we have used for other visuals. Tab limit name and change the color of my text to orange. Click on OK. And now you can bring this in the center. Next on the list, we'll do some cosmetic changes over the title. Just double click on the title, bring our titles in the center. Uh, keep the font size to 11 and replace tab book with tab medium and replace the color to orange click on ok and also i'll bring background image background color to our filters so I'll click on filter click on layout and replace background color with some lighter shade of orange um i think okay let's click on this you can click on instead you can click on more colors and i can just keep this color this which is a very lighter shade of the orange which we're using i think this works now double click on the title bring our title in the center we'll keep the font and tabby medium as it is and i'll just replace my color to white click on ok so this is how our dashboard looks like after all those cosmetic changes which i discussed previously and it is looking pretty good so now next on the list what i'll do is i'll replace this font of my axis to align with the ax the font which i'm using for other charts which is tableau medium so i'll just right click on this axis click on format and click on font over here and replace tableau book with tableau medium and reduce the font size to 8 I'll reflect the same changes over here as well. The second last cosmetic changes which we'll be doing is we'll be removing these row and column headers over here. So I'll just click uh, right click over here, click on format. Then what we'll do is we'll go into these borders and here you can deselect these row dividers, click on none. You can see all of my borders has been disappeared and also you can click on none for the grand total as well. Now you can apply the same changes for other visualizations and i'll implement this over here as well now final change a final cosmetic change which is amazing is we'll be importing an image of nike branding in order to make our dashboard more 
visually appealing. So I'll select this floating and I'll import image and I'll select a local image which I downloaded from Google into my dashboard. Click on choose. So I'll be selecting this particular image over here. Click on OK. And you can see my import image has been imported over here. I'll reduce the dimensions a little bit and I will drag this image over here. So let's see how our dashboard looks like in our presentation view. Click on presentation view. So this is how our dashboard looks like. The dashboard looks pretty good. Let's reduce the size of our title a little bit. Let's keep it as 14, I think. It will look much more appealing. And finally, let's add a border to our dashboard and add an image, uh, an, another image onto our dashboard. So to add a border, we need to select the main page on which we have imported our views. Click on layout and click on border. We'll keep a border color as same as which we are, which we are done for other views. So you can see a tiny border has been enabled across our dashboard. And finally, let's import another image as we discussed. I will drag an image over here. And let's choose another image which I downloaded from Google itself. Center image, okay. So basically you can add any image for the brand you're working for. It could be your client or your own you make your dashboard for your own organization. You can add in as many images on your dashboard to make it visually appealing. Just improve the dimensions a little bit. And I think this looks good. Now the last thing which I observed is the padding of our views and the filters is not matching. So over here, I have, we have kept outer padding as 10 for all the sites, uh, while for the filters, we are keeping keeping outer padding as four for all the sites. So I'll just disable all side equal. So when you keep all side equal, whatever number you paste on top, left, right, and bottom, the same number will be reflected all over the sites. So when I'm disabling, I can manually set a different number or allocate a different padding value to either side. So I'll keep 10 on left so that my border matches with the view. So you can see my border has been matched with the borders of my views. And for the sales method filter, I'll reduce, I'll increase the outer padding from right hand side. I'll keep right hand side outer padding as 10. And I think we are good to go. So this is how our dashboard looks like in a presentation view. And I think it's quite amazing. So let's finally do some user testing and I think we are good to go. So firstly, I'll select region. So let's select Northeast region and let's see how our dashboard changed with those particular filtered values. So the Northeastern region, you can see a particular Northeast Eastern region has been filtered in our maps. And this that's the total sale by sale method distribution of our sale methods. And this is the trend chart and these are the views which have which have been filtered by these particular northeastern values. Now let's click on all and select sale method as just online. So this will enable users to see what are what is the performance of online sale method. And this is the data. So I think it's pretty good and our dashboard is ready. So that's it for this end-to-end -end beginner level Nike sales dashboard tutorial on Tableau. Please like, subscribe and share this video as much possible if this value, video added value to you. That's it for today and do check out my Tableau tu tutorial playlist for more such tutorials. Lastly, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.